a reading from the Gospel of John. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. The Gospel of the Lord. At one time, I served in a parish in the central city of Toledo in Ohio. It was there that I learned that in many big city downtown churches, they have what they call the downstairs church. There's also an upstairs church where the people of God gather to worship God in word and sacrament, to offer prayer and praise to the risen Christ in their midst. It's where the choir sings, where baptisms are celebrated, where children come to the table of the Eucharist for the first time. It's where marriage commitments are made for life and where loved ones are brought at the end of life. It was in St. Mary's in Toledo where I became convinced that the work of the gospel begins in the downstairs church. It's where children at risk find a safe place to play and study after school. It's where the homeless have a warm, safe place to spend a frigid winter night, where they can receive a hot meal, get some groceries, and simply find a listening ear. It's here in every downstairs church where the Good Shepherd gathers his own into his fold, his fold of mercy and peace. It's in this total upstairs, downstairs church where my eight-year-old friend, Erin, found the strength she needed to meet the challenges of being an interracial, intercity child as she encountered violence. One Saturday afternoon, she witnessed her mother being beat up, a victim of domestic violence. The police came and started questioning her, but she begged them to let her go. She would answer their questions when she returned from 4.30 Mass. As a part of the family choir, she and her best friend would stand on risers so that they could be as tall as the adults in the family choir. That Saturday night, she had a lead role. In a clear, sharp tone, she sang, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The entire congregation echoed those words back to her. At a very tender age, Erin was finding in the Eucharist the strength she needed to deal with the challenges of life.